headed to the school social work conference in Austin. I am exactly one hour and 42 minutes away. 95 miles to go. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I am stopping most definitely for my new favorite coffee option, Whataburger. So I put it in on the mobile app. Let me check in real quick on the Whataburger app right here. So I'm gonna check in. I'm excited. I'm gonna put on some lipstick. Saying bye to my kids was so, so hard. But I tried not even, like not to think about it too much, honestly. This is my lip combo, a lifter gloss, the NYX chocolate liner. So there's how the lips look. I'm getting hot. My car does not have AC. I need to get it fixed because I know in Texas this is, it's not, it's not gonna do it. Perfect. Yes, the straws in here. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So sweet. Yay. Mm, oh my god, this is making me excited. I'm like finally getting excited. I'm treating myself this time. Um, I also got some little hash browns. These are so good. And then she put in some ketchup. They, of course, Whataburger has regular ketchup and then the spicy ketchup. I think I'm gonna go for spicy. Um, I don't think I showed you my outfit of the day, so I'm gonna show it on Instagram and I'll post it here. I really love wearing dresses. I don't do it as much. I felt like when I had one campus, I could dress up a little more the way I liked to dress up, but now that I go to multiple campuses, and I walk in a lot of gravel and parking lots. I just don't want to mess up my shoes. Oh my God, I love it. Sometimes I think, am I hyping this up too much? No, <laughs> not enough. I haven't eaten anything all day. Mm -hmm. Ready to hit the road. to the conference um new space for me so i'm gonna check in let's get into this hotel my closet on that side. I will be here for three days, two nights. So for a list of everything I packed, cause this was a little tricky, a little tricky to mix comfortable, business, casual. There is a full video up, a pack with me video for this exact conference. Check it out. However, I did not show the shoes. So this is pretty important. The shoes, I keep it all nude and pretty easy to walk in as far as a wedge or a block heel. Let me get back to the room tour. I placed my other shoes. There is a pool, so I have a little pool bag. And then I brought some Crocs too, some tennies, just in case they have some yoga, an extra pair of jeans. Safe. Oh, there's a little fridge in here, nice. All right, my stuff is safe in the room. It is time for the first session of the conference. Um, uh, myself, the program that I work for. Um, so I work for the Safe Alliance, which is a local nonprofit here in Austin. Well, do you have any classes with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Okay, no, that's cool. Do you ever see them in the hallway? Oh, okay. Do you ever feel nervous in the hallway? Yeah, okay. Hmm, is there a different route you can take? Or like, maybe you can walk with a friend? And so it's just really casually asking them questions. The 
The Texas School Social Work Conference always welcomes the attendees with a student performance and I love this so much. I miss my son so so much because he is also a percussionist and this just made me think of him. They did so so good. Just got back from the dessert reception. So I got some brownies and cookies. Oh my God. This is where I literally just parked myself. I met a few of y'all here today at the conference and that was super special and exciting. Thank you for coming and saying hi to me. A few of us took some selfies as well. So I just wanna share those people on here and just say another hi. I'm gonna rest now and turn in for the night, watch a little bit of Real Housewives. My husband's calling me. Hi. Baby, I miss you so much. We are ready to go for day two. I have a budget for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna see if I can grab some coffee. I think they're also kind of serving a little bit of continental something, but yesterday I ran out of food and I was starving and that wasn't a good thing. Um, I'm also gonna bring my water bottle along today because they ran out of water too. It's a big conference and it's great. So far I've done a session in ethics, which everyone in Texas to keep your license verified needs some ethics hours. I believe it's four and today's a full day of learning. So I'm excited. All right, let's get going. You must lie away thinking, I'm not good enough. <laughs> uh, everybody's better than me. Let's check in and chat. Um, I got my notes from the conference. It's been the longest day of learning in good ways and challenging ways. <sighs> I am feeling very dysregulated. I took very great sessions, but my mind's just trying to process so much and I'm so tired and I'm missing home. I got a call from one of my clients' parents. It's just a lot. I feel like I'm trying to be two places in once and I need to just kind of ground myself. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have my swimsuit on and I kind of checked out the pool area. There's an indoor and outdoor pool here. I wanna submerge right now is what I feel like I wanna do is just like go underwater Water is very, very healing, and I just feel like I need that connection with my body. It's a tease. Let me show you my room. I'm on the second floor. I showed you that already, but I mean, it looks like I have a balcony here, but I don't. I mean, there's just a white wall there. Like, what is, what's this? It's weird. I also got to meet a few of y'all, a few school social workers, well, three from San Antonio ISD. So thank you for saying hi to me if you're watching this. It was so great connecting with y'all. As an introvert, I would never just spark up a conversation with somebody <laughs> if it wasn't for work. I'm good at doing it in social work, in my clinical sessions, but just in networking events, I'm not, that's not my strong suit. I'm getting better at it. And I think I owe that a lot to this YouTube space and social media space has allowed me to grow into myself. I went to a session today that talked about how a lot of the ways we cope with a lot of our personality traits that we, um, kind of clean, like hold on to and really identify with are aspects of what our weaknesses were at one point, which was very, very insightful for me. Um, 
this session was absolutely amazing and much more than I bargained for. I wasn't, I didn't even sign up for this session, but my friend went to it. I hadn't been to any breakout sessions with her and that one actually sounded like I would enjoy it, at least for my supervision. Um, I was triggered right when it started by the quote that they opened up with. Anyway, I'm gonna go down to the pool area and regulate, <laughs> but I wanted to share that and I hope you found it helpful. Hotel seems nice and quiet right now. I'm getting a little nervous, like what if this elevator breaks down? And I didn't know what to push, so yes, I think I pushed the right thing. Push pull. Cool. Going up. This was scary. There's an outdoor pool. I think I'm gonna start there at the outdoor pool. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, the jets are up and running. I'm gonna get in. experience also allowed me to be me and to not be afraid to do what I want to do. You know I talked about being independent and it's not all bad. There's definitely coping skills that come along with it like this. Like standing out, doing your own thing. <laughs> to go eat dinner it is about 7:13. it's 7 13 i have my clothes chosen for tomorrow and my notebook i'm also gonna do some yoga so i have that set up or at least that's the plan i'm gonna go out and grab some dinner now good morning today we're getting ready for the last and final day and i'm headed to yoga this morning in the room now i just got done with yoga i think we did maybe th two sets maybe three of like a sun salutation we started off just like waking up our bodies slowly so we started off in a lying down position and then slowly transitioned up and then the, did the sun salutation pretty much packed up i just have to change into my conference clothes now maybe touch up my makeup and stuff like that but Fisher, you're also incredible. 
courage to expand beyond the container of your identity of being who you are. Week um, and talked about how it is, you know, National Suicide Prevention Week, and, and she talked about the stats and schools, and you know, we did share too. Like, I think the one thing I shared on that is that we're all in this, like, it's community wide. Like, we're seeing it not just in our school, but we hear about it from our colleagues and other school districts and.